Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 7 of the Star Sector Waifus V2 Usurper Let's Play. And we are going to be starting off today by leveling up our character. And we are going to be leveling up um, in officer training to start off with. And then our next one will be officer management. We want to go with officer training right now because we that means we can get some of our level 5 officers to level 6 which is going to be huge. And also plus one elite skill for each officer under our command as well. So we can spend some story points. We have 36 of them. And I was saving a lot of them up for the colony part of the, 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 this playthrough. But we can definitely use some for our officers. If you do like this video, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing. And don't forget to check me out on Twitch. Link is in the description below. Also, there is a membership button. There's a join button below this video. If you would like to further support the channel financially, then feel free to check it out. But otherwise, absolutely zero pressure whatsoever. Let's... We also have 500,000 credits. We have 500,000 credits. So we've just gone ahead and got officer training done. I'm just going to double check our officers, make sure we haven't got any pending level ups or anything like that. Uh, we do. <laughs> we do. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, Sunday Camacho. Um, what are you flying? Are you flying the Uwu? You are flying Uwu 6. Okay. Um, I feel like Helmsmanship is like probably the play. Helmsmanship is probably the play, but also so is Ordnance. Ordnance Expertise is also very much a play. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to go with Ordnance Expertise, actually. Uh, I know the Ubu 6 is lacking in um, in Flux, so that might actually be super beneficial for us. Might be super beneficial for us. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and pick a couple of elite skills here. Uh, and I think the elite skills that we're going to go for with the uh, with Sunday Camacho and, and, and Ubu 6 um, is a target analysis is super nice. Weapon and engine damage is super huge. Uh, damage control uh, can be super, super, super good, uh, especially for reducing things like Reaper damage and the like. Um, she has she has missile specialization, uh, but the the Ubu Six isn't really kitted out for missiles. So I think we're going to definitely run with Ordnance Expertise, and and I think Target Analysis, I think is what we're going to go with there. Cameron Pitts, we're going to go ahead and level you up. Uh, Cameron is currently in Starry Night, which is the long-range Akatsuma, uh, Akatsuzumu SP, even. Uh, so, missile specialization would be beneficial, but there there isn't a huge amount of missiles on it. It's more long-range ballistics. Um, I think field modulation is the best pickup here. I think field modulation is the best pickup here. In terms of elite skills, she already has elite impact mitigation, and I think... Uh, combat endurance when below 50% hull repair 0.5% per second maximum total repair is 2,000 points off or 50% of maximum hull is it I, is it whichever's higher I think it's probably whichever's higher right 15% um, hard flux dissipation while shields are active that is actually probably huge huge I think we're going to go with field modulation elite I feel like the hard flux dissipation while shields is active um, can really help prevent, in, prevent her from getting overwhelmed at any point in time. Um, Ray Brock, who is currently flying the insurrection, uh, is going to go ahead and take... I know the insurrection is running a, a, like a decent chunk of missiles. Um, I think I'm going to go with field modulation though. I think we're going to go with field modulation there. Uh, and that's it for the level ups. That is it for the level ups. Wunderbar. Oh, we need to mentor Casey. Casey, let's make you aggressive. There you go. Fantastic, wonderful, and exquisite. Okay, there's our officers. Uh, now we're going to pop into Hemfayette. We're going to see a baby pick up a new ship. Maybe if no, no, maybe. Um, <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. What do we have available to us? We could pick up another Seni Raja M. I think two Seni Raja M's is plenty for us, though. 
I think two Seni Raja M's is honestly plenty for us. Uh, in terms of other options, we could pick up another Lavella M, which I'm honestly very, very much sort of like. Uh, we have two of them. Uh, Lavella M's are basically the only like actual destroyers in the the UAF fleet. It seems like. Um, it's like you have a bunch of frigates, then you have the Lavellas, which are technically heavy frigates, but they fit, fill destroyer slots. And then you have cruisers. Um, hmm. Nope. You know what? We're not going to get a new ship. We're not going to get a new ship. We're going to hold on to the 470,000 credits that we don't have currently. Uh, and we are going to open up the comm directory. We are going to talk to... Hello, Terry Medina. What can you do? You're aggressive with polarized armor. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. No, it's fine. Um, I am not that interested, but we will talk to Leona. We do have to pop over to the million to talk to Nia. Um, but for now, uh, there's an invasion operation going on. Is there Illyria in the Corsica star system? This will obviously go down massively, as we as we know with these invasions um, uh, missions. Uh, the the 1.2 million credits that they're offering right now will probably actually end up being about 700,000. Their defenses are probably uh, like we don't have anything in terms of marines or heavy uh, heavy units at the moment, so I'm probably going to decline right now. Um, but invasion invasions are definitely something we should be looking at in the coming. In the coming time for now we're going to look at more challenging targets 40 light is 700 oh no nope <laughs> not a chance two radians no no an equinox i don't even think i've faced an equinox before oh yeah because it's from tarlin shipworks that's why and i haven't played with tarlin shipworks before okay i was gonna say it's like brilliance and radiance sure but i haven't the equinox huh a bit of a bit of near tile. A bit of near tile. Okay, what about whatever you got works for me? Eleven light years away, two hundred and twenty thousand credits. Perfect. Let's go. That's super close and a very nice pay. We are going to get our movie on. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Um, we I, I will fly across. I will go say hi to Nia. We will drop off the big snack package, and then I'll head up to our bounty. And I will see you there. Hello, Nia. I have a snack package for you. There we go. 34 out of 100. Progress is being made. Is that... Wait, is, isn't 30 enough for the first tier? Um, it is. Yeah. Here we go. Um, Request the access of Stjana Star System. I, I would like access, yes. Thank you. Uh, so we can now go talk to Alexandra uh, at um, New Refinery, and we can go talk to uh, Liana um, at, uh, sorry, Inari. Why do I always call it Liana? Oh, Leona, that's why. Because Leona. <laughs> Inari. We can go talk to Inari over at Hem Fayette for um, contact work now, which is going to be super, super cool. Uh, okay, let's try to... Um, there's nothing else we can do. Nope. Okay, to the bounty we go. Actually, hold on a moment. Let's just, just check the bow real quick. Mm, oh, we're good. And here we go. Into the system we go. And there is our target. Two atlases. A falcon couple of rhymes, a whole load of colossuses, a mule, a solidarity, shrike, another mule, solidarity. It's going to be fun fight, plus 6%. Yeah, we got this, no problem. Let us go. Right, okay, jumping in. The first thing we're going to do is send the Tiger Lily for Gamma. We're going to want to send the Southern Bell over to... Uh, not the Southern Bell, actually, no. Um, we're going to want to send... Uh, we can send the Southern Comfort. Yeah, we send the Southern Comfort up to Beta. Um, uh, I, I, I guess, I guess we can send, I guess we can send the Northern Light over to Delta. Sure. 
Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and slap a waypoint right here. Uh, we're going to um, defend it. And I'm also going to order a little bit of escort. So the custodian is going to get a medium escort, which should... Um, it ordered... Wait. I ordered... Does, does the Seni... How does... Medium is supposed to be a pair of frigates or a destroyer. And it orders a cruiser? Interesting. Um, so... What then happens if I go medium here, medium here, medium here, medium here, and medium here. And, oh yeah, Death Blossom, medium. Okay. Think. I think that's the kind of controls you want to go. Sure, let's go. Let's go. What great task shall I undertake now, asks the Rose Knight. Well, it's a good question. I don't know. Um, maim the enemy for me. That is that is the great task. I want you to maim the enemy for me. I think you can do that. <laughs> okay, that hound is being pushed away. Beautiful. Um, we can go ahead and that's fine. Carry on venturing forward for right now. Okay. Let the fight begin. Spin around on the spot. Get right up in her face. That's it, beautiful. Slam them with damage. Okay, don't go too far. Don't go too far. Pull it back, pull it back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, how are we looking on the field? How are we looking on the field? We're going to go ahead and get rid of this assignment right here. Get rid of this assignment right here. And we'll get rid of this assignment right here. Uh, where is the Isonoria? There's the Isonoria. Isonoria, I want you to go straight for the Falcon here, please. For now, we don't need to give any more orders. Just try and get rid of some of these fighters. Lovely. just grin and bear for a moment as we're waiting for our ships to all get into the battle here deal with these fighters being pains in our butts pains in our butts I say pains in our butts I can pull like if I can pull like multiple colossuses off of us off of the main fleet that's like a real benefit the atlas is down the atlas is down Isonoria I'm going to change your target because the falcon is retreated back your target is now the atlas there we're going to get get rid of that assignment um go for that atlas Go for that atlas for me. That would be magnificent. Thank you. Okay. We're going to slide in the back here a little bit. Slide in the back here a little bit. We're going to back away before we get overwhelmed. Rose Knight's combat readiness is dropping already. Damn. Really? Those safety overrides. Those safety overrides. Hmm.
We are being plagued somewhat by this this beast. You shall plague me no longer. Come here. Come here. Beast. <laughs> Damn it. Stop being so annoying. Uh, the Southern Comfort's taking damage. My goodness. Astari, what are you doing all the way out over there? We're going to go ahead and remove this defend order right here. Um, where is our Isonoria? Oh, there it is. Oh, I tell you, I'm I that silence right there that you just experienced was me with my heart in my throat because I couldn't see the ice and I thought I'd lost it and, and not noticed. <laughs> uh ice and Aurea, uh yeah, go for that. Eternal winter. Um and Rose Knight over here. Uh Death Blossom, go for this rhyme. Starry Knight, go for the Solidarity and Insurrection. Uh, just remove that Hound, please. Thank you very much. We're on our way back to the battlefield. We are going to go and slam into the backside of these Colossuses. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful Reaper. Beautiful Reaper. Straight in. I'm going to go chase down this Falcon. He looks like he's trying to get away. Come on. You're going down, Mr. Falcon Boy. You're going down, Mr. Falcon Boy. Ayo! <laughs> Eat Lalaru, baby. Eat Lalaru. Ah, uh, looks like that is a battle victory. Battle victory indeed. Just a strike. There it goes. What an exquisite battle. What an exquisite battle. I'm going to go ahead and pursue. Second in command. Uh, go in with the Death Blossom. The smaller vessels. Oh, still a couple get away. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Take everything. Take everything. Give nothing back. Uh, we do not want a pirate Colossus. No, indeed. But we will take everything it was holding. <laughs> 220,000 credits in the bank. What a fantastic way to start off an episode. What a fantastic way to start off an episode. We're going to head back to New Auroria. We're going to pick up some more. Uh, we're going to pick up some more premium choco lava cakes and see whether Nia is ready for another delivery. See whether Nia... Oh, no, 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 Tim, no. Oh. <laughs> That's a waste of supplies. I'll see you back home. Okay, we're here at New Auroria. I'm just trading in all of these pirate weapons that I want nothing to do with. Lovely. Get rid of all of these as well. We only had 37 supplies by the time we got home there. Whoo! That was close. That was close. Go ahead and uh, drop all those off. We will load up on... So honestly, do we just grab... Yeah, honestly. Um, we're just, you know, 230k is like fine. But 2400 supplies for the time being is enough to like make us not worry about supplies for an extended period of time. So I honestly don't mind doing it. I'll go ahead and pick up 600 Choco Lava Cakes too, which should be enough. Two more deliveries should be enough to get us past 50 with Nia, um, which is, is, is exactly what we want. 
So let's head over to Vermilion and see whether she's willing to take another package of us yet. Um, I have dreamed for the day that Nia will take my package. Uh, it has not happened yet, though. Nia, do you like my package? You would! Oh, wait. What? Oh, no. Oh. We can give her a cake, but not the package. A cake won't give us any reputation. Shame. Shame. I'll give her a compliment, though. I'll give her a compliment. And uh, and we'll leave. <laughs> I'll give her a compliment and we'll leave. Um, that goes for you two commenters. I'll give you a compliment and then leave, too. Sound good? Yeah. Excellent. I'll see you back in the Shana system. Okily dokily. Let's slide in. The first Favonia special task group. Why are you at Hem Fayette? Also, I just hit a I just hit an asteroid and Uru 6 got damaged by it. Drink. <laughs> uh right. What are we doing here? We are checking out to see whether any ships have changed on the market. They have indeed. There's a Parsi. Uh, there's another Lilaru SP. Oh, we pick that up, right? We pick up a we pick up a second Lilaru SP. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom. I am very. I'm very keen on grabbing a second Lilara SP. So well, let's go ahead. I'll um I'll refit her and bring you back. Okay, welcome back to the new Waifus Borealis, which was a name suggested by the wonderful Nobody Uwu. Um and uh she is decked out to have a ton of range and a ton of power from range. So in the large um, we've got a Toner 3 Railgun, and then we have a Toner 2 Railgun next to it. We have a total of four Selamene MSM launchers. We have two Vocal SRM pods. We have two Shimata 155 Auxiliaries for anti-armor. Uh, we have an Edge Type 1 up front. Um, for anything that does get close, it can deal a, a, a good chunk of damage. Then it has a dedicated targeting core, a flux distributor, hardened subsystems, and heavy armor with 30 points in vents and three in capacitors. As you can see, flux dissipation and fl weapon flux and shield flux a second aren't particularly matched up, but part of that is things like the the, the burst flak in the back here that's not really going to be doing anything, and the fact that um, its weapons are sort of like split almost into two sections and only one will be firing at once, so I'm pretty sure that she's going to be absolutely fantastic stayed away from safety overrides and from um uh injectors this time because i do want her to have lots and lots of range i do want her to have lots and lots of range and so that's how we have accomplished this right here the lalaru 2 sp is a bit of an artillery boat and uh i'm looking forward to seeing her in action so let's go speak to actually you know what let's speak to anari um, now, I have gone through this whole conversation um, in the previous playthrough, so feel free um, to, to go and watch that. I'm not going to uh, read through all this again for you guys who have most likely all heard it and seen it. We now have uh, Inari as a potential contact. We are going to go ahead and go to our intel. We are going to go to our contacts. We're going to grab a Nari and we're going to develop that contact. Boom. Lovely. And make her a priority con contact as well. And now we're going to go talk to her. Uh, no, not the not the, <laughs> the defense armada. We're going to go talk to Inari. And we're going to ask her if she has any work for us. She has a battleship for sale. She's a Ryzen class battleship for 180,000. I don't know whether to take it. I mean, it's an absolute steal, right? It's a, it's an absolute steal. But also... <sighs> we don't have enough money to refit it. And I honestly... 
you know, if I was going to go for a Ryzen, if I was going to put a Ryzen in the fleet, then, okay, there isn't one, there, there isn't an example here, but, um, well, I just, mm, so, so the Ryzen is an artillery ship, essentially. It is a, um, it is a long range ballistic firepower vessel. We definitely could pick it up and it would be a great addition to our fleet for sure. No doubt. I'm hesitant. And I don't know why I'm hesitant, honestly. I shouldn't be hesitant. I should absolutely... I think the, th the reason why I'm hesitant is because I will probably end up just getting rid of it in favor of a stronger Ryzen later on. Um, or stronger stronger battleships later on. Yeah, I. you know what? I don't think I'm going to go for it. Feel free to tell me I'm an absolute idiot in the comments. Um, but I just don't think I'm going to go for it. Um, we will, however, we will, however, look at what's on the Banshee docket. You got a challenging target for me? Uh, oh my goodness. No, thank you though. Uh, this we can do. Yep. More pirates. No worries. Uh, that's not too far away from Thule. So we can jump up that way. I knew you'd say yes. Oh, I'm glad you knew I'd say yes. That's impressive, actually. Uh, and we we will talk to Leona as well. There's we might as well if we can line up two. Oh no, we can't line up two jobs at once at the moment. Okay, fine, fine. We will. I wonder whether I can only take one bounty at a time. Like no matter from like multiple contacts, that might be a thing. Um, let's go head over to uh, Lachesis Gate over uh, in. Uh, over near Favonius, and we will jump up to Thule and head to our bounty. I will see you soon. And here we are in the Gamma Sabazio system. I love it. I love it when our target is literally right next to where we enter the system at. Um, it always, always makes me so very happy. Um, oh, I forgot to, I forgot to move the Borealis into its correct position, but that's fine. We will deploy it anyway. Let's go, Tiger Lily. Actually, no. Mm. Do I want do I want to try and can no I don't want to try and contest those no <laughs> that's just silly that is just silly I think in this situation uh what I want to do is just very quickly um chuck a heavy escort on the Isonoria and then chuck light escorts on all the cruisers and uh, actually, I don't need a light escort. I'm fine. Let's go. Let us go. The Isonoria is so slow. Bless the Isonoria. <laughs> I don't understand why I can't sabotage them first before we fight. Listen. Listen, Starry Knight. Calm down, alright? You're already a beast of a vessel. You don't need to go in and sabotage them beforehand as well. That's just not fair, is it? That's just not fair. Oi, cheeky. All right, we see one ship. The Death Blossom's going for it. I see a Shrike. I'm going to go get that Shrike. Come here, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, look at those railguns fire. Yes. That's it. Wait. Wait, I'm so confused. What did I kill then? What did I kill then? Wait, were they like two ships on top of each other or something? I killed a ship, but I didn't kill a ship. I am incredibly confused as to what just happened. Yeah. 
beautiful. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think I'm getting better as a pilot, you know. I genuinely think I'm getting better as a pilot. I really genuinely think I can say that I'm getting much better as a pilot. Ah, let's give some orders out, shall we? Isonoria. Actually, let's uh, get rid of these assignments. Isonoria. Hunt the atlases. Where's the death blossom? Death blossom. Uh, where's the death blossom? Oh, death blossom. Death blossom, what are you doing all the way up here? My goodness. Okay. Um, just eliminate that vanguard. And, uh, Uru-6, you can go on this atlas with me. And Zathku. Wait, Zathku's me? <laughs> Borealis, you can go on this atlas with me. Um, okay. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh my goodness. Kaboom! Kaboom! Let's go. On to the next one. On to the next one. Let's go. Right behind it. Get behind it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get behind it. That's it. That's it. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Finish it off. There we go. <laughs> we overloaded right at the end there, but it was entirely worth it. It was entirely worth it. Fantastic fight. I genuinely... Please, please do tell me in the comments if you think that I am actually becoming a better pilot or not. I feel like I'm really starting to get the hang of pi this piloting yeah, luck. Um, He says with his hull being on like 20% and stuff, but... Shh, I'm just being overly aggressive. <laughs> Is that it? Is that the battle? Nice. Nice. Pursue. Second in command. How did a dra- How did a Phaeton get away from you guys? That's, um, that's, it's actually impressive. Like, it's impressive that you managed to be so bad that a Phaeton got away. <laughs> Um, no, I wouldn't like to recover an atlas. And, oh, we've, we're experiencing the classic FPS drop. No worries. Before, I, we'll, we'll, we'll quickly just go to our um, captains because we've got some level ups. Yeah, we do. Nolan Black in the Death Blossom uh, has got a nice old level up. Um, combat Endurance, definitely. Um, because that massively uh, helps with uh, the whole safety overrides that are being uh, that are currently running on his ship. Um, what happens if we make that elite as well? Combat endurance. Oh yeah, that's the repair, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, you're going to take energy weapon mastery, um, and you're also going to go ahead and take uh, probably. Probably combat endurance because you're just so aggressive, or that ship is designed to be so aggressive. As uh, summer, uh, you're currently flying the Eternal Winter. Uh, go ahead and 
probably ballistic mastery. Yeah, ballistic mastery and uh, elite skill that as well. Elite skill that. And, uh, yeah, we won't, we won't choose your other elite skill yet. Beautiful finish. Lovely. Uh, right. We've been paid. Oh yeah. I need to restart the game. Yep. Back in a sec. Okay. We're back and we have a Fupasa. Um, was actually recommended to me to check out, uh, the Java eight update that you can do on the unofficial discord. Apparently that helps with FPS massively with this game uh so i should probably should check that out um and i probably will i probably will i'm just gonna quickly do a little uh little fly around of the system because you know like i'm here and it makes sense to um there's obviously pirate stuff here there's probably a station right here it's a ludic path station kill it kill it <laughs> the Luds, I have found you. I am going to destroy you. <laughs> yes. Oh, it makes... Oh, it feels so good. Full assault. Full assault. <laughs> Here we go. Avert your eyes from your lord. <laughs> yes, Death Blossom. A Dram LED just took out the Nakia and the Rama. Oh, dear. Oh, goodness. IEDs everywhere. IEDs everywhere. <laughs> The Lavellas are gone. The frigates and the destroyers are all gone. <laughs> we are just going to absolutely wail on this station right here. Just absolutely wail on it. Drop shields a bit. Let our uh, let our flux drop. Oh, the flux drops so fast with safety overrides. That's wild, isn't it? That's wild. There goes the station. There goes the station. There goes the Grem. Oh, yeah. Get that face ship. Get that face ship. No one likes face ships. And last but not least. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's take a ride along with the Death Blossom here. Death Blossom. You know what? Death Blossom gone. Right, right there. Super engaged Death Blossom. Go. Go, let's let's watch the death blossom. Let's watch the death blossom go in. Ready? <laughs> There's a reaper. Oh, huge! <laughs> My good. There's a reason why the death blossom is called the death blossom, and that is very clearly uh, to be witnessed here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the southern bell, the tiger lily, and the southern comfort. Um. <laughs> Um, all got IED'd during that battle, unfortunately. Uh, we'll go ahead and take all. And we will leave. We got to level up. Oh, no, I left the... Whoopsie. Oh, okay, it's right. We can re... We can re-scavenge. It's fine. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, we got to level up. We got to level up. So we're going to go ahead and take officer management. Confirm. Boom. Which means we get plus two more officers, uh, which is huge. Um... And the, the operatives will be all important later. And the command points are honestly never a bad thing. Um, that was a, that was a fun battle. While I remember, let's go ahead and bump the Borealis up here. 
I'm actually going to slide the Zathku over. I think the Death Blossom is actually superior to the Lalaro SP. Um, so in terms of priority here, we've got the Aisinori, which is, of course, Bay. Um, then we've got the Death Blossom or the the um, the, the Mysia. And then we've got the two Lalaro SPs. Then we've got the uh, Eternal Winter, the Inazuma M. Um, we've got a lot of cruisers, actually. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine cruisers in the fleet at the moment. Um, with three destroyers, four destroyers, sorry, two frigates, and of course, one battleship. Okay, well, okay, it was a nice, it was a nice to find a, a, a Ludic Path station, really. Um, we're gonna absolutely, phase ship is gonna get salvaged because no one's getting phase ships. I don't, I don't want anyone getting a phase ship. No, 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 no. Wait, is that a Ludic Path fleet? Is that I I have got I have got a thirst for vengeance when it comes to these lads. Wait, where did they just disappear? The fleet like flew up and it's boosh gone. It's gone. Uh we're gonna go ahead to your makeshift sensor array, you Ludic path. Um I'm gonna break it for salvage. See you later. Yeah. Are you a Ludic path? Come here. Come here. <laughs> Pursue them. I just know that. Honestly, the path. The path have annoyed me so much in this playthrough. Um, they've just been so frustratingly terribly annoying that I'm I'm just I'm I'm out. I'm out to I'm out to punishment, punish them in any way, shape, and form that I can. Truly. Uh, they they deserve nothing but my ire and my rage, my hatred, and my anger. <laughs> Damn Parthers. Damn Parthers. Something here. Orbitable. Oh, another catalytic core. Do it. Nice. Huge. My goodness, we are so absurdly lucky right now. VPC for Marines. Su 30X Wing Blueprint. Gambit Fast Cruiser Retrofit Template. Couple of Gamma Cores. My goodness, I tell you. We're uh, we're having a time. A VPC Conflict Package. Both Marines and Heavy Armaments. Wow, I've never found one like that before. That is that is big time. That is big time. We're over cargo capacity, are we actually? Alright, we'll drop off some metals. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind. Hey, I'm glad you know what? I was thinking in my head, I was like, I'm just gonna carry on flying around these rings, because you never know, you might find something in them. Lo and behold, orbital laboratory. Boom. Nice. Do, do, should we go? Should we go mess with some drones real quick? Maybe get some more AI calls. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm in the mood. There's a legion. <laughs> this is just a legion. There's a there's a fourteenth. It's a legion fourteenth. This would actually be such a sick find in any other situation, but it's not a UAF vessel, so we're salvaging it. Um. Oh, whoops. No, actually, take the stuff, please, Tim. Um, <laughs> that would that would be like a crazy good find in any other situation. What is just debris? Okay, I'm not going too close because that star is not a happy, not a happy camper. Wait, hello. Boop. We've got a couple of brilliants. No AI core captains though. No AI or core captain, so it's unlikely we're going to pick up an AI core at all from this. But we will. Are we just going to deploy all? We shouldn't, but we're going to. <laughs> Full assault. Go. Go on, everyone. Have fun. Go on. I feel like a mum letting the, you know, taking the kids to the park and just getting to the park and be like, all right, go on in. Have fun. Don't know why I said mum and not dad. I <laughs> Take from that what you will, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Let's see how long these guys last. Not very long would be my guess. 
Not very long would be my guess. Hi. There's one brilliant down. There's a glimmer down, a lumen down. Another brilliant down. <laughs> I mean, it's just a massacre. It's just a massacre. Good night, sweet princes. GG. I, I definitely wasted supplies. By, I definitely wasted supplies. But uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We'll go ahead and take everything there. Uh, drop off some metals. No problemo. Um, we will salvage. Um, no, no cause, of course, but we, we weren't expecting any cause. We weren't expecting any cause. Not when they, they didn't have uh, um, any AI core captains. If they don't, generally, I think as a rule of thumb, you can only get AI cores as loot if they have AI core captains. Um, is what I believe to be the case. I might be wrong about that. I might be wrong about that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sort here. Uh, and I will... Um, what was I going to do? I don't know what I was going to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll carry on flying around. There is something here. What are you? Nebula class civilian transport. Minor weapons cache. Okay. Go ahead and salvage you. Grab this minor weapons cache. Ooh. We got some... We got some UAF ships. Nice. Nice. That's fun. Load of debris around this planet. An orbital laboratory and a remnant fleet. Um, we will honestly transfer command for this engagement. Oh, wait, no, we can't. Oh, no, we can't second in command. That's what, that's what I was thinking was second in command. Uh, we'll leave the Isonoria out of it because honestly, the Ison like they will all be dead before the Isonoria gets there. Uh, we will honestly just run the Lalarus, the Mysia, the Inazuma, Uru 6, and uh, and the, the, the Southern Comfort and the Tiger Lily. That'll be plenty. Uh, we'll full assault. Yes. And we'll just charge on into this fight. We'll just charge on into this fight. Ooh, we just took a Reaper to the backside. We just took a Reaper to the backside. We're spinning. We're spinning out of control. <laughs> Engines online. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that was a cheat. I think the Reaper wasn't even meant for us. I think it was meant for another ship. It missed them and tagged us in the backside. Which is, uh, it's my fault for, for showing my ass to the enemy, really. Should never show your ass to the enemy. Moonies are rude. And also apparently dangerous. Hey, I can face Skimmer too. I can face Skimmer too. <laughs> you can't get away with me face skimmering. I got the face skimmers. Nice. Good fight. Good fight. Pick through the wreckage. Yeah, no AI cause. Take all. Uh, assess, begin salvage operations. Take all. Drop off some metals and oh yeah and we have the orbital laboratory as well um so i'm just gonna sit back for a moment i'm gonna consume up some supplies uh while we're here in situ just to uh oh there's a there's a little fleet i think it probably will not come after us it's probably too small um we're just you know getting all our repairs done consuming up some of those supplies and uh right okay now's a good time let's go uh, 
Machine immune seems you're kind of some kind of experimental nano forge, yet none of your blueprints fit into the equipment. Oh, that's the 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 forge templates, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I am. Um... Oh, an Argos retrofit template. A couple of beta cores. Love that for us. Love that for us. Okay. Okay. Drop off metals. And uh, I believe that is probably all that there is for the excitement of this system. Probably. Oh, did we just get a ping of something? We did. What is going on here? Hmm, Paragon. Send the intel to the Aurora Federation, most definitely. Because I ain't sending it to the Pathers, that's for sure. I ain't sending it to the Pathers. <laughs> uh, you can send it to the Khan Empire, yeah, sure. Again, not sending it to the Pathers. No chance. Uh, oh, wow, that's a choice. I guess the Legio. I guess the Legio, because, again, not the Pathers. <laughs> Sixty-eight harvested organs. How joyous! How joyous indeed. Love me some harvested organs. Some crew. Oh, I want. Go. Go. I'll take some crew. I will take some crew. Okay. There's. Oh, we got more up here. Or something. Massive debris field. Okay. More pods. 25 marines. Okay. Roger that. Roger that. Okay. Let us go home. I will bring you back if anything exciting happens, but otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and fly on home to the Shana system. Wait, what's this? Put my cash. How did I miss that before? How did I miss that before? <laughs> How did I? How did I? <laughs> Century and Fuel Company, though. <laughs> the EM15,000. 280,000 credits that blueprint's worth. Woo! I tell you what. We're going to make money today. Yes, we are. Right, anyway, I, I will see you back at home. Okay, we have made a bit of a detour. On our way home, we heard of a... <laughs> apparently an orbital habitat. Uh, Administrator Sunday Holman has joined our service. Sure, great. Um, I, my goodness. A Cindrian Fuel Premium Blueprint Package. 6,000 fuel. What? How? <laughs> What am I supposed to do with 6,000 food? <laughs> um, no, but we're here for a bounty. A Auroran deserter bounty. Don't mind me, just... Oh, wait, there's a mining station. What? Did I not see that a moment ago? I, this playthrough. Just casual 25,000 credits, sure. This... Transpoofer emits a fake transponder signal. Currently set to lead Yo Infernialis. And you can use arrow keys to change faction. I'm using my arrow keys, it's not doing anything. Hmm. Oh, that's a huge mod spec. Integrated point defense AI. Oh, wow, that's nice. Oh! Yes, and the, the loader overdrive. Oh, wow. We are... <laughs> YouTuber luck. Right here. YouTuber luck. Right here. I swear. I swear. 
Relay hyper transmitter? In a military base, high command removes the construction requirement for relays in the entire sector? In an interstellar relay? Oh, I can install it in to improve the comm relay stability to plus two? My goodness. I 26,000 ore? Someone's going to get so mad at me in the comments that I'm leaving this behind. <laughs> Someone's going to get so mad at me in the comments. Um, I'm going to put them into a stable orbit. 120 nights. 440 days. 440 days. To come back. We still have a, we still have a bounty to track down out here somewhere. Um, we still have a bounty to track down. So this has been. I tell you what, these past few episodes, people are gonna be like, "Hold on, Tim, are you cheating or something? Like, are you cheating? You're just like finding everything constantly. Like, what's going on exactly? Well, I'm literally, I'm not trying to cheat. Like, I'm not trying to find everything. Like, I mean, I'm not complaining about finding everything, but I'm like. I'm not, like, doing anything other than just, like, flying around and happening to run into just everything. There's something by the star here. Let me see it. Research station. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Stabilized shields. Yes. Overlord Sweet Gamma. Extent. I think we already know this, right? No? Oh, apparently not. Okay. Neural interface. Expanded magazines. Oh, my. Gosh. Golly. Gosh. Storm Needler Blueprint. Tag Swarm. Tap Swarm Missile Launcher Blueprint. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> my mind is blown right now at what we're running into. Actually, factually blown. Um, let's go ahead and learn all of these. Yes, sir, -y, Bob. And uh, continue searching for our target, our bounty target. There it is. Okay. Isonoria 2, Ryzen, Rilaru. Ooh. Moving to engage. This is going to be a deploy all kind of battle. We're going to go ahead and send the Mishandra over there. We're going to send the Tiger Lily over there. We are going to go ahead and give heavy escort on the Isonoria. We're going to go medium escort on all of the cruisers. Like so, except for me. I don't need escort. Uh, so we'll go like that. Beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> How insignificant their wretched fleet is. This shall be a fun distraction. Well, <laughs> it will be fun. It will be fun. I am looking forward to this. Ah, swigging my drink there. Um, yeah, this is, um, UAF versus UAF. Cruisers versus battleships, really. It's like a horde of cruisers versus a, a, like a squadron of battleships. Um, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited. Woo -hoo -hoo! Dead. 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 Okay, let's see here. Isonoria. Launch against the Rilaru. Um, Astari, Rilaru. Uwu 6, Rilaru. Borealis, Rilaru. And then the Zathku. Starry Knight. The Rose Knight. 
and the eternal winter head on up uh, on the horizon. Let's go. Let's go. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't get overwhelmed, Tim. That's it. Burn that flux. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's get this Rolaru gone. Oh, the Starry Night's been destroyed? <gasps> Starry Night. Come on focus down this Rolaru. Let's get it focused down. Oh, that was a bad phase jump, Tim. That was not my intended what I wanted to do with my phase jump. That's it. You got this. You got this. Oh, yeah, you got this. Come on. Keep it up. Nice. Break away, drop shields. Nice. Uh, Raffleshire is heading out. Let's not get caught by the Raffleshire. Let's not get caught by the Raffleshire. There goes the Ryzen. Okay. Um, we're just going to send everything on the south side right now on the Isonoria. That's it. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to see if we can grab this Exoria in the back. Beautiful. Beautiful. Grab some engine troubles. Oh, you're running. You're running. No. Damn. Damn. The raffles. The raffles. Shoot the raffles down. Nice. Okay, the raffles is down. Huge. Huge. I think we have... What? What's left here? What is left? Uh, there is... Not much left. Not much left at all. Oh, the Death Blossom. Oh no, it's the Insurrection that's going. Oh no, it's the Death Blossom that's going to get involved here. It's just a little Minoria. Oh, it's a little Minoria. Oh, bless your heart, Minoria. Bless your heart. <laughs> oh, no, it was on the Kia. Wait, what? Oh, I thought, my bad. Apologies. Apologies. Um, we will, we will pursue. Second in command can handle it. Lovely. Oh, well, you let a minority get away? Damn it. We're going to go ahead and recover the Starry Night and the Southern Comfort. I'm going to pick through the wreckage. We're going to... Ooh. We've got a Puterasaya and a Penguas. We love our penguin ships. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take all of there. Drop off some of the metals. Go ahead and salvage. Take all. Drop some metals off. And that is a beautiful 2200 credit payday we have 850,000 credits to our name we have an inventory full of goods we are now officially going to head home um and pff, definitely probably be uh, upwards of a million 
uh, by the time we're uh, we're done selling. Okay, we are home. We're about to dock in at Hemfayette. Like so. We're going to go ahead and repair. We're going to go ahead and we have a lot to sell. Uh, the UAF weapons we're going to want to keep. So let's be strategic about this. We can sell that. We can sell that. We can sell this, that, that, that. We want to keep those. I want to keep that. Want to keep. Uh, no, we can get rid of that. Want to keep that. Want to keep that. As you know, because we can just use this. Um, the transpoofer. I'm honestly probably not ever going to use. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of all of these LPC. Oh wait, no, that was. Uh, we don't want to get rid of that one. Don't want to get rid of that one. That one, not that one, not that one, that one, that one, and that one. All of these weapons, I think. I'm going to have to... Which ones are UAF weapons? Actually, honestly, just to save time. Just that that's a UAF weapon. So is that. They, they, you can kind of you can kind of just see them just from their style honestly um you can kind of just see them from their style oh my this is a payday <laughs> this is a payday Seven hundred and fourteen thousand credits worth of payday we have a million and a half to our name you know what that means you know what that means we can buy pretty much any ship we want except for like the solvernia over area or cherry vanguard so let's see what hemfire has got for us shall we has a rilaru d not interest has a percy it has a percy which, frankly, I have wanted for my personal use for a very long time. <sighs> we have a Percy. I'm going to refit it and bring you guys back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friendos, MBs, and waifus, I would like to introduce you to the Waifus Inverse. Uh, this name was suggested by two people, um, by commenter Mapat and also commenter Aikathulu. Um The Waifus Inverse uh, <laughs> is a Percy um, that its 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 motto is Yo Dog. I heard you like mini briefs, so we put mini briefs on your mini briefs, so you can mini brief while you mini brief. Uh, as you'll be able to see if <laughs> you look closely, that we have one, two, three, four, five mini brief pods and two mini brief launchers. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have two Cyrex of 452 support artilleries, anti capital artillery guns here. Um, followed up with some toner rail guns up the front. Obviously, the built-in mini rest ASM launchers that the Percy has as standard. We've got some light dual machine guns on the sides. We've got some flare launchers on the back with a trier right off the back as well. Uh, then, in terms of mod specs, at the moment we have stabilized shields, we have ECCM package, and we have advanced turret gyros uh, and four points in vents. The inverse is here <laughs> to pack such a huge missile punch. Uh, it, it, I just, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited to fly this vessel. I really am. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put myself in the seat of this vessel. Uh, leaning, leaving the Zathku without an officer. The Zathku and the Borealis, both down officers at the moment. Um, the Insurrection's officer, Ray Brock, I am going to move. So I think I'm going to slap you into the... The Zathku there, Ray. Um, and then I think I would... I, I'm, I'm quite happy to leave the Borealis officerless for the time being. 
for the time being. Um, so I've put 1.5 million just dropped down to our 200k uh, in in the space of not very long at all. Um, so that's <laughs> that's always fun, isn't it? Let's go to our storage where we're going to drop off uh, some of these fancy things that we've picked up. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, and then in uh, we are going to... What are we going to do? Uh, we've still got 1,100 supplies. Uh, we're going to go buy some more just in case. Anyway, there's no reason not to in this situation. Um, and then we are going to go to uh, speak. Uh, no, we're not. In fact, <laughs> I just realized that this recording has been going on for an hour and a half. I'm going to end the episode there. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing. And don't forget to check me out on Twitch. And check out that join button as well below the video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, until next time, stay safe in the stars. Farewell.